We are Austin, Avery, and Curtis, graduate students at WSU's Master's in Teaching program. Over the last 14 weeks, we've had the opportunity to observe, work with, and learn from the students and faculty at Discovery High School in Camas, Washington. In this video, we'll show you what we learned about project-based learning here at Discovery. There is a learning organization within each and every classroom at Discovery. Students are given ample opportunity to work together, solve problems, and share ideas on whiteboards that span across classrooms and hallways. Disciplines are interwoven into student-driven projects where deeper learning is drawn out of the experience of building something rather than studying for an exam. Students learn more than math, science, history, and language arts. They learn how to prioritize tasks, ask questions, collaborate, draft, critique, revise, and reflect. Collaboration is key for teachers as well, as they come together to design meaningful projects that cover standards across their disciplines. In the end, the students are the one responsible for learning, and teachers provide the framework. The ninth grade students at Discovery have spent the last several weeks working on their CRISPR video game project, a culmination of learning in English, science, and math. Their goal was to create a video game using DNA modification as the main thematic element. Once the project was introduced, it became the central theme of their curriculum. In English class, they studied How to Clone a Mammoth, The Science of De-Extinction by Beth Shapiro and learned how storyboards are used in game development. In science, they explored CRISPR technology and gene editing and applied their learning to design a theme for their games. In math, they learned about rigid transformations and how animators use rotations and translations to move a character. At the end of the project, students reflected on their significant learning, highlighting both the hard skills, English, math, and science, and the soft skills, like making use of resources, advocating for their own learning, and especially time management. They also partook in presentations, peer review, and revision, demonstrating the ability to give and accept criticism, communicate ideas, and collaborate with their peers. I have no idea what I learned before I started doing the project-based learning. I just remember all the projects I've done. And I think it's just an interesting way to apply our learning, because sure, at a traditional school, we might still learn the same thing, but we wouldn't put so much focus into understanding how it's actually applied and used. Yeah. Creating a project in this way that kind of scopes throughout their day is more realistic to what, what we do on the day-to-day. In, a, in the work field. So they have to make collaboration plans and logs and how do we track our progress and yeah, there's a huge emphasis on um, I guess what's referred to as the soft skills. During our time at Discovery, we witnessed firsthand the positive effects that PBL can have on students, supporting what we've been reading in our course text, Reinventing Project-Based Learning by Susie Boss and Jane Krause. These ideas also support our work with This is Disciplinary Literacy by Relia Coset lent namely how student choice, communication, and authenticity are key in developing understanding. Our group had a chance to apply what we learned by developing our own eco-justice unit. Together, we designed a project where students would study different aspects of the fishing industry in Washington State and create a documentary to spread awareness. We are so grateful to all the students and faculty at Discovery for joining us in this amazing experience.